What's up, guys? Welcome to episode four of my United States men's national team in the Barclays Premier League career mode. We'll be getting this episode started with a matchup against Fulham. And taking a look at the starting lineup, that 4-4-2, Holtby, Bent, Mitro Glu, Delufeu, for some reason, is on their squad. Will be some guys to look out for. Definitely Delufeu will have some pace on the wings to challenge, I believe it will be Fabian Johnson on the left side. And so we were able to end a bad run of form in the final match of the last episode. We wanted to keep a good run of, run of form going to make up for those few those three straight losses. Tim Howard, DeAndre Yedlin, Omar Gonzalez, Jeff Cameron, Fabian Johnson, Jermaine Jones, Graham Zuzi, Bedoya, Bradley, Dempsey, Altador. So basically the lineup we went with, uh, with the, in the last game with the exception of Beezer being... Uh, injured now, so he has Cameron taking a spot. Let's take, take some look at some great build-up play. Ball played to Bradley, just cannot finish that with his left foot. Some beautiful build-up play that we could not capitalize on. We'll see a header right here off the off that free kick. Nice job by Doya controlling that and finding Bradley, and some great movements by Altador taking advantage of that through ball. And just amazing hit by Altador. Just have to take a look at that finish again. That's kind of the advantage of using. Basically semi, I think it was on either semi or manual for this match, and I have been ever since I started this career mode. And it's just absolutely beautiful, that finish. Take a look at this again. With his left foot, hits that into the side netting with his left foot. Amazing finish right there from Altador to get us started in this match. We'll see a ball played right here to Bradley. You know, cut in. Put the ball to Altidore, who hit it over the top to Dempsey. He's going to score on his former team, and they are booing him throughout this matchup, which is a really nice addition to career mode. I really hope to see some of the, some more of those little things. Mm, I just love little things. But, yeah, hope to see some more of those types of things added into uh, FIFA 15. A great composed finish from him to grab the victory. 2-0. Fulham just really could not do anything. I mean, I always add highlights from both teams if there are any, if there's anything notable, even if there aren't goals that are that are notable, some great saves and the like. But Fulham had nothing going forward for them, so we'll get into this second matchup against West Brom. It's another match we really should be uh, winning. Taking a look at the table, we're in six, and a win would be huge right now with West Brom right behind us. So even a draw would be a very good result to keep our form going in. The, the league and just uh, to stay very close to that Champions League spot in the table. It'll be interesting to see if Ben Foster is able to work himself into that England starting lineup with the year of 2016 qualifiers and year 2016 on the horizon. I mean, he preserved that clean sheet for England to at least get them a point from what was really a tough group in the end. Um, with, of course, Uruguay, Italy, and Costa Rica. Costa Rica, of course, had that marvelous run. Stoke City with Tim Howard, DeAndre Yedlin, Omar Gonzalez, Jeff Cameron, Fabian Johnson, Jermaine Jones, Bedoya, Bradley Zuzi, Altador Dempsey. Of course, Zuzi is being highlighted right here because his play has been tremendous on the wing ever since he's been started out there as we've made, of course, a bunch of different lineup changes uh, throughout, even though we're only four episodes in, just trying to find that right mixture of players to get uh, this team rolling. Sinclair, Vidra are definitely going to be t some tough players. Uh, we're going to have to look out for them. Vidra just always seems to be very good in career modes and the like. And just against me in general and some career modes I've done on my own. But we'll see West Bomb right here playing the ball. Malumbu to Vidra. To Malumbu. He's going to find Vidra right there. Just some great interplay right there. Uh, Bradley maybe could have marked Vidra better as well as just better positioning from a center back. I believe it was Jeff Jeff Cameron right there that really just sold us out. Unfortunately, um, he's the, I think he gets caught out of position a lot just because he's listed as a right back and he's more of a midfielder his natural position. You can see Jakob just very unfortunate deflection. It really kind of pissed me off to be honest to see stuff like that be his. It seems like some players just have a complete magnet to them with the ball. And I've heard ball physics are going to be a lot better in, in next FISA. In next FISA, what's FISA? In next, the next FIFA. So hopefully that will come true as ridiculous deflection leads to a wide open goal essentially. All he has to do is to finesse that into the side netting. And a great ball from Bradley to Bedoy over the top. So he uses pace to get to that ball. 
put a nice touch with his left foot to Altador, cross into Altador, and he's not able to put that into the side netting. He hits that right directly at the goalie. Bradley plays his ball right here. Back to Dempsey. He's going to find Yedlin with that switch of play. He's going to hit the ball right back to Altador, who takes this long shot and a very nice shot. I really thought Foster could have done better, as we could see on the replay, but it was some great play overall overall to at least cut the deficit down and maybe search for that late equalizer as you can see our fans going wild and we'll see again Yellen gets that switch hits it directly to out the door Foster maybe could have done better on that but there's a little bit of swerve it looked like to maybe throw off Foster so great just a cracking finish right there from out the door of course it's too bad is 2013-14 2014 campaign was not like this in real life pushing for that equalizer is always going to leave some gaps open but there's some really horrible defending in my opinion right here and just it's really hard to push players off the ball i've noticed there's a lot more strength in fifa 14 next gen and vidra i believe is again able to finish that Unfortunately, things will get even worse here, as you can see. Mulumbu draws a penalty from Omar Gonzalez as he was chasing down the ball. I thought Omar was going to have good enough positioning, and I guess I just completely guessed it wrong because I thought the ball was in his tracks and he would not have to worry about giving up a penalty in that instance, but unfortunately he does. It's going to be Vidra who will be taking this penalty to try to get his hat trick. And of course, we have a bad history of having players get hat tricks against us. Shows some poor defensive record. And he hits it right down the middle, but Howard goes to his left and just deflects that in with his foot. And just a terrible performance at the end, unfortunately, defensively. There definitely needs to be some improvement defensively going on this season. Have to address those in the next episode. Let you guys look at the table as we're sitting here in ninth place to round out this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll have the next one coming up very shortly. I'll catch you guys later.